Hello everybody, welcome back to math. Today we're gonna to be doing module one, lesson number 20, we are on 26 now. I am Mr. Cognetti from Citizenship Academy and I can't wait to, uh, to jump into this lesson with you guys. Yesterday we started subtraction. Today we're gonna to continue with subtraction. And we're gonna learn how to solve subtraction a little bit, or subtraction problems a little bit differently than how we've been doing it. But, like I said the past couple lessons, I wanna warm up with learning our doubles facts. So, I might do it in the next lesson, but today might be the last time in a little bit, for a little bit, that we work on this. So, we should be getting pretty good at it. What is one plus one? One plus one equals, let's see if you got it right, two. Did you get it right? I hope so. Next one is, Two plus two. Two plus two equals one, two, three, four. Two plus two equals four. Now we have three plus three. What's three plus three equal? Hmm. Three plus three equals, let's put this three in our head and we'll count this three on. Ready? Three four, five, six. If you didn't need to count on me right there and you knew it was six, great job. Now four plus four. Having that answer in your head, see if it matches my answer. Four and four, we're gonna put this four in our head and count this four on, ready? Four, five, six, seven, eight. And last but certainly not least, five plus five equals, how many fingers do we have all together? 10. All right, five plus five equals 10. Good job. All righty. I went through that fast because I really wanted to jump into subtraction. I have fun with that. I think you guys are gonna like today's method. So let me erase the board and we will start working on our subtraction problems again. All right, so up here, I am writing six minus four. I want us to work together on solving this problem by making a number bond, okay? So we have six minus four equals something. Now, what do we know? Do we know our parts? Do we know our whole? Or do we know one of our whole, or our whole and one of our parts? Hmm. Normally it's part plus part, but we're not doing plus. We're not doing addition. We're doing subtraction. Do you remember which number I said subtraction sentences always start with? The biggest one or the whole. The first number is always the whole. So this must be six. Now four must be one of our parts. Doesn't matter which one I write it in. I'm gonna write it right there. So six minus four equals, so we're going this way. All right. Oh, sorry. Now to solve this one, we're gonna use a number line. Okay, that's what's new today. If I draw a number line right here, can we see it on my board? Not too well. This is what I'm gonna do. Give me a couple seconds. I'm gonna move my number bond down and put my number line up here. Be patient with me. So I have a number line up here that goes from zero all the way to 10. And we're trying to find or solve six minus four. So to do this, we're gonna start with our first number that we're given, and we're gonna put a dot 
on that number on the number line. So here's the number six. That's the number we're starting with. I'm gonna put a dot there. Now, how many are we taking away? We're subtracting four. So if we're subtracting four, do you think our number is gonna get bigger or smaller? It's gonna get smaller because we're taking things away. If you have 10 cookies and I take some of them, you're gonna have fewer cookies, not more. So I'm gonna start going this way and I'm gonna count four numbers in that direction. Watch me. One, two, three, four. What number did I end on? Can you see it? I ended on the number two. So that means if I started with six, and I took four of these numbers away, my answer would be two. Simple as that. I really like number lines. I think you will too. There are quick and easy ways to help us solve problems. Let's do a couple more. Let's do eight minus five. Just gotta erase all this and this and this. All right, so if we were to fill in our number bond, we start with our hole, or for our number sentence, we start with our hole, which is our biggest number which is eight, so that goes in our whole section. Then we are subtracting one of the parts, which is five. And once we do that, we will find our missing part. So remember, when we're using our number line, I start with the first number we have, which is eight, put a dot there. And I'm gonna count back how many times? Five times. So I'm gonna come from here and I'm gonna count back five numbers and see which number I land on. One two, three, four, five. All right, what number did I land on? I landed on the number three. So that must mean eight minus these five equals three. All right, we understanding that a little bit? Let's try one more then we'll call it a day. Let's go with nine minus two. Now, if I want to start by filling in my number bond, what is my hole in this number sentence? My hole is the number we start with, which is nine. So nine goes up here. We are subtraction, sorry, the subtracting two, which is one of our number or one of our parts. And now to find this, I'm going to come up to our number or our number line. What number am I going to put a dot above? I'm going to put a dot above number nine. We're working from our first number, going this way. So I start with nine. Now, how many numbers am I counting backwards? Two. It's the only, number, only other number I have that I haven't used yet. So we're gonna count back two. One, two. And I like to do those little bumps because then I can count the bumps after I'm done drawing them. So one, two, and I landed on number seven. So nine minus two must equal seven. All right, very good. That was a quick one, but we will keep working on that more and more. We're going to be doing addition and subtraction throughout the whole year. You guys are going to get super good at it. You guys are going to practice a little bit more on your exit ticket and your quiz today. Good luck with that. You guys are awesome. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye, everybody.